personal finance isn't something that is taught in a lot of schools and colleges for most of the young adults. Well, that's where they fail to follow their financial management. I have collected valuable tips for the young adults to manage the success of early financial life. I'm Varsha Renukumar and welcome to the Freedom Business English channel. Do not forget to subscribe and download our Freedom app. First one being track your expenditures. Well, most of them don't keep track of their expenditure according to weekly basis or daily basis. That's where they end up biting more than they chew. This is the main cause you end up in a debt. We are all young people who end up making wrong decisions and cause a lot of expenses. But that is not the solution. The main solution to this is when you spend equally, earn equally or either make sure you have a track of whatever you spent and spend it in a limited manner. Next step is make a budget and stick to it. You know that we all spend according to daily or weekly basis and when you're tracking it, always make sure you stick to that timetable. Please make sure that you stick to the whatever procedure you've tracked it till today. Don't go dividing all into a larger expenses. I know sometimes there might be a larger expense that you might not expect, but we should make sure how to recover it back. Well, as a student, I don't think so there is too much of expenses until unless we are spending it for unnecessary causes. Divide the budget between necessary food, outings or hangouts or might be even shopping. Make sure it's all equally done so that you can end up saving it sometimes. And next step is starting a savings account. Well, I personally think this is the best way we can save. Any amount you have left out from previous month or anything you have left out by your pocket money, you can start your own savings account and make sure that everything is going directly to that. If you save some amount and one day you need it, you can use it anytime, anywhere. Now that you have divided your budget, you should know how much you're saving so that you can live a relaxed life. There is no money that is left in your hand, but you should make sure that everything that you reach or collect is saved at the savings bank. But the main failure for this factor is generally that most of the people ignore the fact of saving and end up making a mess in their life. Any cause of income might be generated off the savings and make a huge impact on your financial status. When you're in your 20s, you most of the time will not have any kids or a lot of responsibilities that is on your shoulder. You can end up saving a lot of your income. I know there are a lot of middle class families and upper middle class families, but you know how to value your income and save them for the upcoming months. Don't fall into the traps of attractive schemes. There are 100 people out there waiting to scam you on your hard earned money. People tell you to invest on your hard earned money with the returns of one to double. I think half the time that's a scam. Well, make sure you have a perfect and proper research on whatever you're investing on. Go through those schemes more than once. Make sure that you know perfectly what you're investing on and why you're investing on. If possible, try contacting other people who have invested in these schemes and make sure that they give you the right answer. Next is start investing. If you have any free time, meanwhile, you can go ahead and learn about mutual funds or something that will let you invest and earn good. Make sure whatever you're investing is on is a right path and you know you're gonna hand over your money to the right hands. And also, educate yourself regarding the financial instrument and how they work. Once you feel confident, start with a SIP with a very less amount of rupees 100 to 500 in the mutual funds. According to your risk profile, as you see your money grow over the time, you will feel confident to invest in major goals. Practice self-control. Well, we all have to make sure that the money we earn is equally having a financial outgoings. We should make sure how to hold back the income by not wasting it for unnecessary causes. Learning self-control is the most important virtue when you have personal finance. Do you really think you need another pair of expensive Nike shoes? Or can you like use the old one a bit longer? You need to question this to yourself and make sure that you're saving but not wasting your money on unnecessary causes. Do not indulge yourself in impulsive buying. Make sure that whatever you're buying or whatever you're spending on is something worth. Next is learn about your taxes. This is where so many of them fail. Well, even if you have not received your first paycheck, it is important for you to know about your taxes. When I say about taxes, you should make sure how much money is going as a part of tax. You need to know if your salary is enough after the cut of all the taxes is enough for your expenditure. 
Well, as a basic note here, there are a lot of tax calculators which are available for free and you can use it for your guidance. Well, my friend, you have to make sure that you focus on your health. Health is a main factor of your income. If you are healthy only, you can go out and work. Health is the most important thing, I say, because if you have neglected your health in your 20s or 30s, saving your income would have done nothing good for you, but you would have generated good range of money. What good is money when you don't have health at all? Healthcare is pretty expensive everywhere and we have to make sure savings can get you health for period but not for lifetime. So make sure you keep your body fit and make sure your health is all perfectly checked. Meanwhile, keep your body fit and get ready for all the challenges and make sure you have a health insurance and also make sure you invest even in your health. Lose bad habits. Well, when I say bad habit, I'm not just talking about smoking or drinking. I'm talking about the impulsive buying and unnecessary expenses. Of course, I'm not saying that smoking and drinking will not cause any injuries to your health but it is also indeed injurious to your financial income because in the long run, it's very expensive. Well, coming to the other habits of impulsive buying can endanger your personal financial status. And make sure you lose all these bad habits. Become financially literate. The fact that you're watching this video is a good sign of it, but also make sure that you always have an intact cooperation with the articles which say how to manage your financial structure. Make sure you read often, make sure you get to know from others often how they track and keep their entire income balanced. One of the best ways that you can cultivate this habit is, as I told, reading, watching and learning from others. Make sure you get the right input and do not stress yourself over unwanted schemes. Well, bottom line, you need not go to reputed universities or colleges to educate yourself in the financial matters. You just have to make sure you have the knowledge, discipline and self-control to hold back your finance by not using them in unnecessary ways. In no time, you will be able to achieve your financial freedom and be able to achieve your dreams. Anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment your thoughts below. Thank you so much.